Hey guys, it is Tuesday, November 14th. Here we are for our November, oh my gosh, family meeting. November, how is that possible? I don't even believe it. And I am Bonnie Devonish. I am the Superstar Director for Flava Collective and welcome to our family meeting. I'm going to start by sharing my screen and we will get started. There we go. Can everybody see that? Cool. Mm -hmm. All right. So welcome, as I said, to our family meeting and to the um, newest members of our family. Welcome, especially um, Carol Ann, Rochelle, who we call Shelly, Jalisa, Brianne, Shannon, Jennifer, Maria, Tracy, Tyler. I can't see the rest. Who's under Shannon? Linda. Linda, thank you. My thing won't move. My bottom. Th oh, there it goes. Linda, I see you now. Heads Welcome. up, real quick. <laughs> it's she's not on here, but it's Maria. Maria, thank yeah. you. She's, I was guessing yeah. I was gonna say Mayra, but I was switching the Y and the R, and then I noticed, and I was like Maria, maybe. Mario, that's what I said too. No, Sully calls her Miss Mario. Mario, so, yes, I'll call her Maria. Though. Miss Mario, yeah. thank you. Um, congrats on your top five. Um, by title, this is old news because I posted it like the second of the month, but um, you guys killed it. I like to do this so that you see sort of how you are comparing to people of your title each month um, if you're in the top five. And that's kind of how I'd like to do shout outs each week too, because um, somebody who's a hobbyist or who just does this as a side hustle is probably not going to have the same passions and goals as somebody who is doing this as a career, right? So um, we're going to compare apples to apples here. So congratulations to all of you who earned top five by title. Yay. Um, top sponsors in October. That is always a great thing, growing your team, right? So Ashley, Leslie, Nadine, April, Donna, Lee, Tracy, Cindy, and Karen all added at least one person to their teams last month in October. And I'm super proud of you. Um, I just want to say, if this is new to you, sponsoring, definitely reach out to your sponsor or your director to see if they can help you out with sponsoring your new teamy because you want to make sure you get them off on the right foot. Um, they always receive a welcome email from me, but lots of people don't read their email. So I, um, I'm here for you. And so are your directors. If you have a different director than me, group stats in October, look at that hundred people out of 281 were active. That means they were over 200 PRV and we had over 81,000 in sales. And this is my favorite. 157 people out of 281 put in some PRV last month. That's huge. Um, but I do want to point out on this slide, it's not here, but I want to point it out because it's making rem me remember. There were several people who were like five or six dollars shy of active. And so you, I just want to point out that you can always see on your homepage of your dashboard whether you're active or not, it will show you the circle that says 200. And it, if it's complete, it'll say active. So make sure that if you are super close to active, that you go ahead and get that bulb order in or something, because that's a big deal to be active um, every month. Currently in November, we have 29,000 in sales, which is great for this time of the month. And 62, as of five o'clock this afternoon, 62 out of 252, that's 25% of our group already are active. Um, so as I posted today, we are on track to have our highest percentage active 
ever in Flava Collective history. So I know we can do it. So if you have teamies, reach out to them and make sure you give them ideas on how to be active or let them see the recording to this because we're going to talk about a lot of ways tonight. Certified consultants. We have two new promotions to certified. Geo and Marcus, as we like to call them around here, <laughs> um, got certified and Brian Gallagher. Gallagher, I hope that's how you say your name. Um, so a thousand in sales is what gets you to certified and that's however long it takes you to get there. But the great thing about being certified is it gives you a bump, a 5% bump in your um, commissions. So congratulations to all of you. And I don't know why my picture's not there, but it said lead. <laughs> Christy and Lori both promoted to lead consultant. Lori was last month, but I left out her slide. So I wanted to put her on this month. Congratulations to Christy and Lori for promoting to lead consultant. That means they get a $200 bonus and their sponsors get a $50 bonus because we're in race to lead right now. So for those of you who are not lead yet, we're going to talk about that a little bit more at the end. Sensational start. Level one, George and Marcus. Yay. So they completed their first 70 days and they achieved level one sensational start. Um, there are lots of you who are in your first 70 days. And if you are looking for what it takes to get to levels one, two, or three, it will be right on your dashboard. You'll have circles that give you the um, what your goals are, and then we can help you get achieve those goals. So just reach out to your sponsor or your director. Paid at title for October, Christy, Lori, Jen, Tamara, Leslie, Nadine, Carrie, Ashley, and Heather were all paid at their titles last month. So congratulations to you all. That's a big deal. Why are my pictures not working? Can you see pictures on your end? So weird. So this is all about the, um, the blanket. Can somebody pull up a picture of the blanket and then I'll let you share your screen. So there is a, um, incentive right now and the blankets are exclusive to host, um, host exclusive half price item for this month only and their limited supply. So if your host or you reaches levels three or four, um, which is 500 or a thousand PRV in your party, then you get an extra half price item and you get to earn this beautiful taupe blanket, which I wish I had mine already. It's on order, um, but I don't have it. So if you have it, just unmute yourself and say, I have it and I'll share this. I've got it. Thank you. Let me. It's let not me. the best picture, but it's. Okay. Share it. Okay. And I got to find it. There it is. Can you see it? Beautiful. Yes. It looks really soft. It does look soft. I love it. it. Soft. Thank you for doing Welcome. that. Welcome. All right, back to, hopefully that doesn't happen again. So every month we have a planning ahead guide and there's lots of new people on this. So I'm gonna show you exactly what it looks like in case you've never seen it. You're going to go to your news tab in your workstation. And at the very top of your news tab, you're gonna see a pinned post that has this consultant planning ahead guide. And if you scroll down, you can see all the things that are coming in the month. You'll see the catalog promotions. You'll see all the limited time offers with dates beside them. Um, and then as you scroll, you'll see any incentives that are being offered. And this is my favorite part. Underneath on this one page, you have links to all the news tab articles that are happening this month. So as long as it's been announced with a news tab article, you'll have a link. So if you want to go see, I should have just come here. If you want to see that hard party host can earn more in November, you click that link and you'll be able to see the extra half price item there. Of course, there it is. Look, there's the blanket. 
right there for you. Um, all right, so the next thing Harry Potter launched on Monday, Harry, he's so cute. So the buddy, the scent pack, the four houses, um, bars and the four houses, mini warmers all launched yesterday. And to my knowledge, they are all still available. So get your Harry Potter Potterhead friends in there ordering because they're such a good deal. They're $30 for these mini warmers. They're great. Limited edition warmer. I went live unboxing mine yesterday and I boosted my interest by so much. So if you have one already, please go live showing it. Um, it's so beautiful compared to just the picture. If you can at least do a video, you don't have to put your face in it. But um, when you show the video of this, this warmer, it's just gonna gain so much more interest. So it's still available right now and it's a limited edition collectible and numbered. Good grief. What is happening? Um, so the frozen collection bars are going to be available for early access right now through December 3rd. And on December 4th, our frozen collection is going to be launched. Um, and then the happiest cruise that ever sailed is the bar for Oh, she's got them. Leslie, you've got them. They're the bars. And then happiest cruise that ever sailed is the bar for, um, it's a small world ride warmer. That's what I really wanted to show you was that picture of the warmer. So, oh, there's a chat. Is somebody telling me something? No, I don't see anything. Oh, look. There's the, if somebody can drop the photo of the, it's a small world warmer in there, that'd be great in the chat. Thank you. I'm sorry that this is happening. Look, my whiff box is gone. The whiff box is always a great deal. Um, I don't have mine yet, but it has a mini, a baby tux warmer, which is a little penguin warmer. Let's see. Hold on. I'm going to go back. You know what I can do? I can just go to that really cool article and just click on each news article. That's what I could do. Let's just show you. Um, it's a small world. Tell me if it's here not here yeah go up the delight and it's a small delight world in thank you yeah, right. i need help y'all jinx yeah there it is Edwards. look at that isn't it pretty it's a small world warmer is released on december 1st but right now you as consultants can get the access to the bar which here's the description of the bar Set sail on magical journey where cheerful Peruvian lime, sunny apple, and sweet fruit sugar live in harmony. Ah, oh, so sweet. I love it. Um, so that's early access. And then um, the whiff box is not going to be here. Did somebody put the whiff box in? Thank you, Leslie, for sharing that. Oh, there's baby tux. Thank you for that. Let's just scroll through and see where our next problem is going to be. Oh, good. We see a picture. So Sinspiration Collection just launched yesterday as well. Christmas Cottage is sort of where the uh, it all started. It's a really popular bar. Um, and then they just sort of did a spinoff on that. So they did Christmas Cottage Cider, Christmas Cottage Mint, and Christmas Cottage Wreath. And they're including this um, in the middle, this cottage scent circle. Which one is your favorite? I haven't gotten mine yet. Leslie, I know you have strong opinion. 
Christmas cottage mint, but I'm anything mint is I'm sold. But look, yeah. y'all, that scent circle. <gasps> it is so cute. Oh, I don't know if you could see it or not, but it's it's like a little cottage, and it smells so good. So so cute. Yeah. Somebody said, I think it was Carrie. Maybe was talking about Christmas cottage wreath. I believe. And she said mm-hmm. it was like the best holiday fragrance. It reminded her of it's um, good of like potpourri simmering on the stove or something. I think. Yes. Sorry if I misquoted you. Yeah. It, it, it does smell like that. And they're all really good. And for all of these, all of the, um, what is it? The, the other five that are out, those are all really, really oh, good. Oh, sense of the season. Yes. These. Yes. Are amazing. So another tip for you, um, I always send scent samples in the mail to my previous three months of customers. Um, but if you don't, if you have the pre, like the release early, smell them live, go live and smell the scents because it will entice people. It will make them say, I got to have those. Um, more than anything else. So if you haven't gone live sniffing some things, just pick some things you have and go live smelling them. Here's the new TIE fighter warmer. Now, all of my Star Wars fans are like saying this is one of the best warmers we've ever made um, in the Star Wars collection. My Star Wars fans have every single warmer we have. um, And they said this is their favorite. So... If you have Star Wars fans, don't sleep on it. It's a good one. And this Ewok is to die for. He's so soft. And so is Chewie. My All Ewok right. is coming. Yay! What? <laughs> I said Your Ewok's my, coming? My Ewok is coming. Yay. <laughs> Festive Friday sale. We have one more, which is this Friday, the 17th. And so far, we know there's going to be a Scentsy bar mystery bundle. 10 bars for 40 we have a warmer mystery bundle, two full-size warmers for 40 and more is what we know. And then after that festive Friday sale, we will have some kind of cyber Monday sale. That's all we know. So get on those. The licensed soccer club warmers are 75% off while supplies last. So if you have soccer fans, I mean, football fans, (laughs) football fans, make sure they know because they are some devout fans, right? So a couple things I'm doing because people were asking for like ways to boost their PRV. Um, basically, I'm telling you that all you have to do in November is tell people you sell Scentsy because people, this is the month that people want fragrance in their homes And then towards the end of this month, into the beginning of December, they want it for gifts. And if they know that you sell it, they are going to come to you. So that's your job is to get them to know that you sell it. So I'm doing these mug bundles. I do them every year. Um, Some years I do them more. um, I do more than others. This year I'm going all in and trying to get as many as I can, but I got the mugs and I got these tags and I got these peppermint spoons all from Dollar Tree. And then I got this hot chocolate in a bulk pack on Amazon. And then of course the room spray and the scent circle are what the products are. And I'm only, um, I'm only, what is the word? I'm charging for just the product. So it's only $11 for the entire bundle, but it's because I'm getting all my scent circles and room sprays for half price or free with my host rewards. So if you need to charge for the other things, you can, you just have to be careful about posting the price on social media. You can tell, you know, in private message how much they are, but if it's more than what the product costs, just be careful posting on social media. 
that's one thing I'm doing. And then the other thing is every Thanksgiving, I do this thing called a turkey trot. Some years I have more takers than others. But if you've never heard of a turkey trot, it's basically just a basket party shrunken down. And I, I don't have one made up, but I use these bags that our testers come in um and i put like 20 testers like a variety of testers i put a catalog i put a few order forms or i xerox xerox copy the order form <laughs> i'm old um i copy the order form put it in here and maybe put a flyer of some, like the holiday flyer or something and i tell my hostess you're going to be with people, friends and family during Thanksgiving, right? It's the most fun. Like my tradition when I was little or when I was a young mom, we would sit in the middle of the floor and spread out the paper. Now we just go to the websites and our emails for Black Friday sales. And we would like pre-shop while granny cooked or whatever. So this is what you do on Thanksgiving. You're like planning your Christmas shopping, most people. So bring this out. People love to sit around and sniff the testers, um, do it in your own Thanksgiving room with your people or get some hostess for you, um, to do it for you. And the more people you have, the more rewards you'll have. Tell them that all they have to do is sell a hundred dollars in Sensi, which is super easy to do. Um, and you will split up the hostess rewards for the party that you're just going to compile together. You're going to give them one of the half price items and $10 in free product. You're just basically splitting up the party, right? Now, obviously, if they get to 200, give them all of it. Um, but I'll post more, but that's just something I wanted to, to tell you real quick. Have you signed up for world tour registration? Um, wonder since he world tour i'm so excited orlando is where we're going i know a lot of people are going to allentown pennsylvania a lot of people are going to washington dc they have gotten a um venue for the dc it was it was on hold for a little bit but it's at the Westin dc um that was a new discovery um there's north carolina one so Pick your place, sign up. It's like a regional convention um, that comes close to you. And you get lots of good stuff and you get a sneak peek at all the new stuff. December warmer and scent of the month, or should I say warmers? This time when you subscribe to the warmer of the month, you get two. You get a full size and a mini, and then you get all the fragrance. So the warmer is called Frosted Night. And the scent is called Meat at the Mistletoe. Serene mistletoe, subtle cherry rendezvous amid the coolness of a refreshing forest. That sounds cool. I think I'll do it. So tomorrow is when they start processing. Oh, George, you already got your bar because you had it in the whiff box, right? Yes, I got Tell my whiff box is. just today. It Tell is us. amazing. It is. It is. As so, soon as you take a hit of it, it's very it, it it's it's got the the greenery smell of like a fir tree there's a little bit of a, a spice to it a little bit of eucalyptus it's really nice it's very subtle so i it's was not worried as strong about as the cherry in there can you smell cherry i can't okay good that's what i was hoping no. good yeah I, sometimes the fruit flavors are, are a little bit too much for me so no i can't on that one awesome Thanks for sharing. I love it. I'm excited sure. about this warmer too. So make sure you put your subscription in. You just go to your account tab and go down to subscriptions, sign up for either the scent or the warmer and scent of the month. And you get PRV on that. So you get paid back a percentage and um, you get it ahead of time. That's a great perk. Level one earners for the incentive. Leslie and us have earned level one, which is not purple luggage, but I didn't have a picture of the teal because they haven't showed it yet, but we have earned the luggage and we're on our way. Lots of you are on your way to earning this incentive trip. So um, keep it's going. Teal? Yeah, it's teal. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, so keep going. Um, we're all in this together. 
check your incentive tab progress and see where you fall and how you can get more points and keep going guys. The bonus incentive, there's a bonus for anyone who gets three new club subscribers. They have to have club orders of $50 or more um, new orders. And if you get three of them signed up between last month and this month, you will get a Scentsy logo crossbody bag. That's beautiful. I don't have a picture, sorry. And race to lead anyone who earns lead consultant for the first time ever between October 1st and November 30th will receive a $200 cash bonus. That's huge. That is big. So if you are essential or certified consultant, all you need is a minimum of 500 PRV, which a lot of you do anyway. You need one person to click your join button and sign up. Sorry, this is a last month's photo. So that's not the kit. That was last month's kit, but it's a big kit. It just doesn't have all those extras. And then together with you and everyone in your downline, you need a thousand GWB and you promote. That's all you have to do. So you have like 16 days left. You got this. Let us know if we can help. And now I'm going to check the chat and then we're going to talk to Leslie about follow-up. The chat is good. I'm going to stop my share. Do I go? You go. You <laughs> okay, go girl. heads up. Natty just got home from a field trip and she's been gone all day since oh. six o'clock this morning. So if she comes in and interrupts me, that's, did you take a shower? Are you going to? Okay. Fair enough. Okay. Um, I apologize y'all. I am so friggin' tired and I am not prepared at all. So I'm just winging this. Um, so please don't expect anything professional. Okay. Let me, first of all, I want to know how many of you have a follow-up system? You can answer out loud. You can answer in the chats. Just if you have some sort of a system that you are doing consistently with following up with your customers, do, do you have one? It's okay if you don't. That's why we're here tonight. So, and even if you're brand new, have you, do you have anything, do you have any method to your madness of communicating with your customers. I, I see, I do, never been good with follow-up. Anybody else? Well, while you guys answer, hold on, I'm gonna. I started using the notebook. All um, right. But of course, didn't follow through with it. I was not consistent. <sighs> That's the problem is that it can be so exciting to start it and then you find some sort of method that you think is going to work and then you just, I don't know, something happens, you either get busy and you forget or mm -hmm. you don't get any responses and you get discouraged or you're like, what do I say? Oh, I'm not going to do this today. I've mm -hmm. done it all. Yes. It wasn't yours. Sorry. It was mine. My nine-year-old's into skincare now. So let, let that sink in. Yeah. Okay. Shush. Shush. She's telling me to shush. Hmm. I'm waiting for this, for it to end, for the obsession to end. Hold on. I'm about to get beat up. Okay. Go wash your face. So just a, a backstory. Um, God, I'm tired. I had to have her at the school at 545 this morning. I'm friggin' tired. Um, I, when I started Sensi in 2017, I just was kind of winging it and didn't really have any expectations and it just, just kept happening, growing. And I had customers, all that jazz, I was having fun with it, but I wasn't doing anything, any sort of follow-up and I didn't know I was supposed to be. And I went to World Tour 2018 and I saw Steffi Malbro. I don't know if any of you have heard of her, but she's amazing. She's a superstar director. She's a friend of mine. And she did a breakout on um, follow-up, her follow-up system. And one thing that she said that stuck with me was 
that customers are ready to order within seven to four, ready to reorder within seven to 14 days. I'm like, no way. And she shared her follow-up system, which was a, which was a binder. And I'm like, that's interesting. And she had a YouTube video. It's still up there. If you want to go check it out. Um, and I went and I watched it and I incorporated her follow-up system into my business and it, my business, after I started doing that and being consistent with it, it like doubled because I was checking in with customers and developing and maintaining relationships with them. So I'm going to take my shirt off. I have one on underneath. Don't worry. Even though you guys might want to see that. I know it's hot. It was cold though. Hold on. Okay. There we go. Okay. I didn't show anything. Did I? Not that I care, but so all that to say since 2018 follow-up has basically been the reason why my business stays successful. I've tried all the fun things that you can do, the baskets, the, the bundles, all that stuff. And I can't stay consistent with any of it. The only two things that I can stay consistent with in my business are follow-ups and social media. So I've learned the hard way to stop trying to do it all and just stick with the basics and stay connected to my customers and keep, keep them coming back for more. And the way I do that is by staying relevant on social media and stay consistent with it and follow up. So when people think, when you hear follow up, what do you think? Is it reaching out every time there's a new product? Because that's what a lot of people think. That's where their mind goes. And I'm here to tell you that's not it. That helps, but Customer that's not service. it. Customer service, yes. Mm-hmm. And one thing when you hear that is one thing you think, and this is, I hear it all the time I don't want to bother them, I don't want to be pushy. Okay. (laughs) You don't have to be. So don't be, don't make it weird. Just check in with them. Ask them if they like their Olaf bar, make sure they got their Olaf bar, make sure their warmer works, make sure that their bulb didn't break. There's so many little things that we can be doing just to stay connected with our customers that has nothing to do with making a sale. And it's so easy to get lost in translation because a lot of people get nervous and they want to word vomit and they want to type out this long text message about, I just wanted to make sure that you got this and that it was good. And did you like this and that? And did you know we have this coming out? You know what I do when I see that? I get out of that text message because nine times out of 10, I'm driving with my screaming toddler in the back and my kids slapping each other. And I don't have time for that. Now, if somebody's just texting me saying, hey, did you get your package? Is it good? Then I can be like, yes, it was great. Thank you so much. Love it. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm going to remember and keep like, okay, I got to keep them in the back of my mind because I'm going to keep coming back to them. So just when it comes to follow up, keep it super simple. Just don't overdo it. Don't overthink it. Because if you overthink it, you're going to over speak it. And One of the easiest ways that I can, that I personally do that is to have a system and I kind of developed this myself because we went from Binder to Maven to Amy to we're on our own again and we got to figure this out on our own. I've tried the Binder, I've tried the paper and pen, I've tried reminders, I've tried it all. And what I have found that works for me is, I hate it but it's a spreadsheet. I know Bonnie loves it. She's a freak in the sheets and I'm not, (laughs) I hate spreadsheets. I hate doing them, but it works. So I'm going to share mine with you and I have a blank one that I can share with you guys. And I'm just going to walk you through exactly what I do from start to finish. Okay. Hold on. Let me share my screen. And anytime you have questions, please pop in. Okay. Can y'all see this? Yes. No, maybe. Yes. Yes. Okay. So I, 
well, okay, this came from Kimberly Polita, who is an, an, another amazing, I think she's just a star director. I don't know what she is, but she's incredible. She's got so many fun ideas. So I kind of took hers and made it my own. Again, I hate spreadsheets. I'm just going to scroll. So this, this is a lot, but this is all the information that I need to know for my customers. Now, Sensi has on the workstation, they've enhanced their contacts tab. There's a lot of good info on there. However, I need it all right here with my own method to my own madness. So we're just going to start from the beginning so I can explain it to you guys. Go away. This is an area where I check it off if this is their last month to get a sample from me. So if they haven't ordered in three to six months, I haven't heard back from them when I check in, they haven't interacted with me on Facebook or anything, I'm not going to waste my time and send them anything. Okay. They're just, it's not, it's not worth the time. It's not worth the money. They're not interested. Write it off. No big deal. My feelings are not hurt, but I got to make sure that I know this, right? So I'm going to click over here. That way I know that this is the last month they're getting something. If they don't order, I'm moving them on to right down here, my old customers. Okay. Got to be cutthroat in this business. This is their name, clearly, their address, their phone number, their email right here. This, I have it set up so that if I know if they're in Sensi Club, do they get it monthly, bi-monthly, quarterly? And everybody that is in Sensi Club, I feel like there's more, but I just haven't done that yet. I'm still enhancing this right here. Are we friends on social media? Yes, no, maybe. If they're highlighted in yellow, that means that this is information that needs to be done. Like right here, I need her email address. Right here, Carly here, we're not friends on social media. So I have that highlighted so I can make that happen. Their communication preferences, this is how they prefer to communicate with me. Is it text, is it email, is it Facebook Messenger? I hate that, but I know and I, that way, if I'm not hearing back from them via text, I can say, oh, that's because they don't like to text. Are they in my VIP group? Have they opted in for personal special text from me? That's not really in my follow-up system, so I'm not going to go into that tonight, but I can share it another time if you're interested. Now, right here, this is where I write down their most recent purchase. So if they order it directly from me, I write the date down. If they order it from the PWS, I literally just copy the link to their order and I paste it right there. So all I have to do is click on this spreadsheet Hi. Uh, and it'll take me right there. Are you watching a video or is that I'm, just... I'm making a video. Oh. I'm doing a training. Why did you put on makeup? You were supposed to wash your face. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Dang, she ordered a lot. I forgot. So, that, and then right here, go wash your face. Get out of here. Go wash your face. It's late. You have school tomorrow. This is the type of order that it was. So, she ordered this straight from my PWS. So, I put in PWS. If it was a text or if it was an order that they gave to me I'm super ADD so orders get lost did she order it on Facebook did she text it to me was it a Sensi Club order was it a pre-order I have to have this specified so that if I get confused I can go back and look and see where it came from um, have I sent them a thank you card yet? I send if it's not an order that I deliver in person I send all thank you cards with their happy mail every month. So it's highlighted if I haven't, if I've sent it, then it's a yes. The tracking, again, you can copy the tracking link right there and paste it. And if I need to see if it's been delivered, it's right there. If the delivery date is available, I put it here. If it's not available yet, it's highlighted. So I've got a lot of highlightings. 
um, if I deliver it in person, the day it gets delivered, whether it's by me or whether it's by somebody else, it's going right here. And I follow up with them right here. And I write down the date that I need to follow up with them. And if it is happening that week, like for example, this is the, the 15th is tomorrow. So I'm following up with Angelie tomorrow because, and I'll explain my system of when I follow up, but I highlight it so that I know I've got to come back and follow up on this day. And anytime I see something highlighted, that means it needs my attention. If they've paid, if they haven't paid, it's all right here. And this is where I mark down how they've paid. Because again, I do a lot of personal orders. I do like, I do PWS, but also people give me their orders. So I've got to be able to keep track of when they pay. Over here is the samples that I've sent. I haven't sent the ones for this month yet. So that's why they're not on there. But I will mark down everything that I send them um, when I need to follow up. So this is all going to be highlighted with a date of when I need to follow up. And I'm going to come back to explain when I follow up. And right here, have I offered the opportunity of Sensi? Yes, no, they've joined, they're a previous consultant. I'm not super worried about this column just yet because I'm really trying to make sure that I focus on this one to, you know, because it's still kind of a new process for me, but it works. So um, let's talk about when we follow up. This is, these are my rules. You gotta do what's best for you, right? I get a text or I get a, sorry, I don't get a text. I get a PWS. Let's start with PWS. So she orders from me. When was this order? On the 8th. That was last Wednesday. The second I get the order within 24 hours of getting that email, I put all the information on here that I have and I send them a text and I say, Hey, if it's, a, if it's somebody I know, it's just a quick, Hey, thanks so much for your order. I'll let you know it ships or something with a cute emoji, celebration emoji, whatever. If it's a new customer, hey, Allison, this is Leslie Smith. Thank you so much for your Sensi order. What, go, go get ready for bed. Go. Okay, we'll go lay down. I'll keep you posted on when it ships. That's it. And just leave it at that. And then all the information goes in here. We get notified for PWS um, shipments. So it's all going to go there. You're going to get, I, I'm going to get it. It's going to go here. As soon as that order ships, I copy the tracking link. I text it to them. Just a quick, I copy paste it and a quick, yay, it's on the way. Something, just something, whatever. Um, I write down the date that it's supposed to arrive. So this one still hasn't shipped yet. And then I give it one week. I follow up with them in one week after their order has supposedly arrived. That's also when I drop it off at their house or something. If I give them their order, I make sure to follow up in one week. How'd you like everything? If I see, okay, Allison here, it's like, dude, you stocked up on some warmers and bars. Are those for you? Are they gifts? Have you checked out the new jammy time whiffs? Just something like, are you loving everything? How was everything? Did everything arrive okay? Always end it with a question because they're more enticed to respond. If you say, I hope you're loving everything. You can just, that they can respond in their head. I'm loving it. Thanks. But they're not going to tell you. If you ask them a question, they're going to be like, I love it. Thank you. Or actually, no, I'm not a fan of this. Give it one week from the time they get it till you follow up. After that, I do two weeks, unless they say like, I will check in with you or um, I'm gonna order next month, you know, gauge the conversation. But after two weeks, after I have followed up, I follow up again. Are you still doing okay on anything or on everything? You still loving everything? Just a quick check-in. You do not have to make it anything crazy. They're not going to be, you know, I don't know. You just, I don't have a lot of time to go into a lot of details. So I try to keep it simple for them because I got to keep it simple for myself. So it's literally just a quick check-in. After that, 
it's one month from that day. If they haven't ordered that just going to keep one month. Are you still doing okay? Do you need to stock up on any bars or whiffs or whatever it is that they ordered? Something. That's why it's good to keep track of what they ordered so you know. Um, and again, these are just for like, you know, PWS orders, whatever. If you are constantly talking to people like Amanda here, she's a good friend of mine. I generally, I'll follow up with her like once a month. Are you doing okay? But she's, she can tell me when she needs something. So you've got to build those connections with your customers. And that's where like the notes here, I, I put in notes like, okay, we'll put one here for Amber. I'd right click, insert a note, send a jammy time bar, something like that. Okay, she's got a note and I'm gonna highlight her so that I know I've gotta send her something, whoops. Um, but that's really it when it comes to follow up. It's when it comes to your orders and follow up and samples too. Like samples, if you're sending samples without following up, you're you're not doing yourself any favors. Number one, you're not bugging them. If you bugged them, they won't respond. Just know that very, you are very lucky if you get a response from somebody that says, stop or leave me alone or I'm not interested because they are taking the time to tell you to go F yourself. And it's really nice, right? Uh, you can hear that, you've heard worse. So if they're ignoring you, it sucks, but give it the rule of three. If you don't hear back from them after three times trying to reach out to them, write them off. They're not interested. And if they are, they'll come to you, right? So I forgot what I was saying. But if you're sending samples and you're not following up, like if you mailed them, how do you know they got them? Well, all you have to do is just follow up and say, hey, did you get the samples? What'd you think? That's it. You, you are more than likely going to get a response. I loved them. Thank you. I'm so glad. Which one was your favorite? Like keep the conversation going, you know? But by not following up, you're never going to know. And no response is a response. But still, if you really want to know, you got to ask. And keep it simple. You're not going to piss anybody off by just asking them a simple question. If you sent somebody a birthday gift in the mail, you'd want to know if, you, if they got that, right? And a lot of times, some people don't get their stuff that you send them. So you got to double check. You're not asking them to order anything. You're just making sure they got it. So take away the pressure of your, from yourself of asking if they want to order something and just do them the courtesy to make sure that they received it. Um, when I send samples, I wait a week before following up so that I can make sure that they've gotten it in the mail, that it's been sent. If you have tracking, that's easier because you can see, oh yeah, it, it arrived. But if it's just like a postcard or something with just a stamp, it's a little harder. Um, but yeah, that's it. Does anybody have questions? Then I'm gonna stop, stop the share. So that was I a lot. Have a question. Yes. So when you're going in to do your follow-ups, whether you have five minutes, 15 minutes, whatever, is there a way that you pull up those certain people that you know, like, okay, this is more time sensitive than this one? Because it is for me in my brain, that's a lot right? That's a mm -hmm. lot like dates and like, mm -hmm. I would have so much highlighted. Yeah. That would probably be that, too much highlighted. That, that would, that's it. I would say to mm -hmm. color code your priorities. Okay. Like, um, give me an example of time sensitive. So maybe you're behind and you know, like, okay, I've been, I've been like a week without doing it. How mm -hmm. can you quickly go in and identify who you need, who, instead of going through and looking at each individual date, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Is there a way to get it to pull up like 
I keep mine huh? sorted by um by date. I love Leslie's and how it looks because it's alphabetical, but yeah, I keep mine sorted by date and last. So, yeah, you can sort it by date. Yeah. So all of your dates that are like most recent will be at the top. Mm -hmm. That's what I do for my brain. You, see, I am so scared to screw up a spreadsheet that I don't mess with it because if I screw it up, I'm like, I don't know how to get it back. I'm the same but way. But I know I'm... there's a way that you can sort. So Undo, undo, undo. <laughs> Um, there's an easy, I know actually, there's, there's an easy way to do it because I do it all the time for work. I'm always afraid that I'm going to screw up a spreadsheet. Save one as a dummy spreadsheet. So okay, that way there you go. that's the one you play with, that's the one you edit. And if you screw it up, you don't care because you got the master copy sit. There you go. There you go. Smart. Like yeah, you can sort. And I would say like I have my I have the the yellow highlight, the green highlight. And it's like, and I know in my brain, those that are highlighted green, I have stuff to deliver to them. Every, everything highlighted in yellow needs my attention somehow. Like, oh, this needs information. This needs to be updated. And here's another thing. This is just a side note. If you're thinking of follow-up as like a daunting task, like, oh my God, I'm scared. Make it a to-do list. Like, I've, oh, I've got to mark off everybody on this date. I've got to make sure that I have just reached out to them. And I will literally, like most of the time my follow-up happens, I have a timer that I set for every day, follow-up at four. Every day at four o'clock, it goes off time to follow up. So even if it's one person that I've followed up with, I can mark that off my list. Now I'll just really quickly just go in. Do, 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 do. Don't even sit there. Are they going to respond? I don't care if they respond. In my, my mind, I've done it. I've done my due diligence. Mark it off my list. And I can, and I will know, I have reached out to this person, reached out to them last month, didn't hear back, reached out to them this month, didn't hear back, but at least I know it's on my end. It's good. So just, and it takes the pressure off. A little off topic, but are you doing all of your follow-up through hit em up? So it's all kind of like documented no. in the same space. Mm -mm. Um, I do. I only use hit em up when I need to send information to a lot of people and I don't want to send a mass text so that I use hit them up to do like promotional stuff and those people that I send it to have opted in to receive that information from me so and I just send but hit them up comes from your your number so it's all I have found that I have gotten so much more response using my personal number than I was with Project Broadcast. So I think they just feel like it's more of a personal connection and that having two numbers was confusing. So it's all coming straight from there. Hit them up, it's literally, I will send a picture. Here, I'll show you the most recent one that I did. It was on Sunday and it was about the, um, the launch for Monday. So I sent them those three. And it said, "Howdy, you interested in Harry Potter or point or porn setta? Point set of fragrance flowers. We got both coming out tomorrow. That's all they got. And follow up the same person. I followed up with her today. Hey, did you ever send the payment for the three bars? I can't find it in Venmo. So it's it's a little bit more personalized with follow up, but um, hit them up. They know it's just it's all you know." I'm letting them know about new stuff, any personal specials, any product launches, whatever. So that's really, yeah, hit them up is in my brain. It's a way to get information to a lot of people really quickly. And follow up is just personal from me via text. So thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> any other questions? That was awesome, Leslie. Thanks. I hope oh, it made uh, sense. one more question. <laughs> How um, soon after being consistent with it, did you see like results that really made a difference? Like with this or just follow up in general? With follow up in general. Oh God. Um, I feel like almost immediately because... <sighs> Mine was immediate. Mine it's was like, like the next month I could see. Yeah. It, and 
I can't, it was, it's been so long. It's hard to say, but because I really, I, I can tell you this, this year I've been so all over the place and not able to focus on my business. Like I want to be, that's why I have learned that just keeping it as simple and basic as I possibly can is what I need to do. But because I can, I can tell on the months and the days and the weeks when I do not follow up, I can see like, I, I, I probably lost like 10 to 20 customers from not being consistent with them and just kind of letting them go on the wayside. Um, trying to figure my own shit out for this year. So it's, it really depends on the customer, but it does make a really big difference if you take the time to develop that relationship and stay in contact with them. So, yeah. Thanks a bunch. You're welcome. And, and if you guys want that spreadsheet, I can share a copy with you. Yes, please. And you can change it to be whatever works for you. It does not have to be that. That's just all the information that I want to know. How would and you like to share it? Cool, I don't know. How can I share it? Probably on Flava. Okay. What's yes, really cool is that you can export that spreadsheet to Avery. And Maddie, can, you're such a creeper. You are so. <laughs> Go to bed, man. Oh, why? <laughs> She's dressed for school tomorrow. She, is, she doesn't <laughs> wear pajamas. No. So you can export it to Avery and you can use those as your labels for your happy mail. Go away. <gasps> so you don't have to keep going back and forth to the contacts tab on the workstation. It's all right there. Mm -hmm. I love it. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Cool. So she's going to share the blank template for the spreadsheet in mm -hmm. Flava. And if you, mm -hmm. for some reason, don't see it or whatever, just reach out. She'll probably do it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I will. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm going to write it down right now. Do that. <laughs> All right, guys. Can I take a picture real quick? Because I always forget. Yes. Get Friday. Out of my phone. I'm trying to see when the thing is. Matt, you want to be in the picture? You want to be in the picture? Oh, she can't hear y'all. I've got my smile awesome thank you guys thanks for being here i'm going to guys. Uh, stop recording and